Grandma 2 offers additional preset functions over those offered in the Series 1. Now, timing information and fixture defaults can all become part of the preset pools. Additionally, the definition of preset types within these new options has also changed. Storing your presets is as it was in the Series 1. Set up your lights, press the Store key, and press a blank tile in the preset pool. And also like Series 1, pressing and holding the Store key will bring up the Store Options window. And like the Series 1, you can let go of the Store key and the window will remain. In the lower right corner of the Store Options window are the Preset Options. Under Preset Type, your options are now Universal, Selective, and Global. When looking at presets, each type is indicated by a letter at the top of the cell. The letter U for Universal, S for Selective, and G for Global. The Regenar example has 10 Verilites and 10 Martin Max 700s. This first selective preset has been programmed with just the first four Verilites. If you select all fixtures and try to recall the selective preset, only the fixtures that were selected when it was created will be affected, as it was with the selective presets in the Series 1. The global preset, which is the new option, actually follows the universal settings from Series 1, meaning that this preset will apply to all fixtures of the same type, in this case, the Verilite 3500s. Lastly, the new universal feature makes this preset accessible to any fixture in the show file with compatible features. For example, this CMY preset could be applied to any color mixing fixture. To recap, Selective presets can only be applied to the lights you had selected when you programmed that preset. Global presets will work for all fixtures of the same type, and universal presets will apply to any fixture with a compatible feature. The next new feature is the ability to alter your default and highlight levels by using presets. For example, we might want a different default position than that of the normal 50-50. To do this, we'll create the preset as we normally would, and store this as a position preset. Now if you press Assign, and then tap the new preset, a pop-up window will appear. Our preset is currently set as Normal. The default option would make this preset the new default position for Pan and Tilt. Also within this window is the Highlight option. Choosing that would set our lights into this new position if we were to use Highlight. The Stage option is for future functionality. Once I select Default, the preset will reflect this status on your screen. Now the next time I release control of these units, they will default their pan and tilt parameters to this preset. And because it is a preset, if you choose to update or change it, it will of course change your default position. This process can be used in the same way to set highlight values, perhaps with a color or dimmer preset. Another new feature available on presets is the ability to store individual fade times and delays with your preset value information. When setting your preset values, just add fade and or delay times, then simply store that as a normal preset and the console will automatically include your timing information. On the tile of any preset stored with timing information, you'll find three short bars. The red indicates that there are attribute values stored, the green indicates fade times, and orange for delay times. As this information is stored with the preset, when you recall the preset, the information becomes active in the programmer and is available to be stored in queues with the timing information you stored within the preset. Please note this system does not interact with preset playback when you're recalling presets live or busking from presets. The stored times or delays are currently only for use in the storage of queues. It's also possible to store fade times or delays into presets without value information which could greatly increase your flexibility when programming. To play back or apply presets, it's the same method as it was on the Series 1. If you select your fixtures and tap a preset, it will apply to those fixtures. Also, if you do not have any fixtures selected when you tap a preset, the console will automatically select the fixtures you programmed into that preset. On second tap, it will apply the preset. Grandma 2 has a new feature called Fast Call. This is designed for busking or live operations with presets. To activate the feature, press the yellow ball in the corner of the preset pool you wish to change, and in the lower right corner, you will see Normal Call. Press this to turn the pool into a Fast Call preset pool. All of the tabs will go red, letting you know that they are now Fast Calls. 
Now when you tap a preset, it will apply to the fixtures that the preset was programmed with, sending the information directly into the programmer and saving you the extra step of selecting the units. You can even have certain fixtures in the programmer and change other fixtures with FastCall without affecting the fixtures you are already controlling. This tool is very useful for busking with the console, and of course you have the option to choose which pools are in fast call or normal mode. You can even have two versions of the same pool open on a screen in different modes.